Hi, my name is Suleiman Surani. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'll be creating my very own color LUT uh, for Instagram filter. Now, let us understand what is LUT. LUT stands for lookup table, which is used in color grading uh, to transform an input value into desired color value for your output. Okay, so uh, we'll be creating our color LUT uh, using Lightroom, which we will then export it to uh, Spark AR. Now, if you're excited to create your own LUT, right, be sure to um, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload video tutorials every single week. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when you're working with Lightroom, you have two options um, to use the Lightroom on your desktop or to use the mobile version. So, I'm on my mobile, I'll be using uh, Lightroom on mobile. I launch Lightroom. And um, I will require two images. Um, the first is the base color LUT. Now you can download this template uh, on Google, but I've already downloaded it for you. Uh, you can head down to my description box below to download this base color LUT template. Uh, now I have an image here that I would like to use um, to create my color LUT. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go to uh, light, right? I'm just going to adjust um, the settings here. Now, um, take note that I'm only be adjusting the light and the color. Now, this is your own preference. Um, for me, I'm just going to um, play around a little. I'm just going to bring up my contrast to maybe about 20-ish percent. My highlights, I'm going to bring to about 76 percent. Shadow about 20. White's about 11. And I'm going to um, click on Curve. And I'm going to just create two points here. I'm just going to bring down this slightly as well as here. Now again, depending on your image. Uh, I'm going to click on color now. I'm going to adjust my temperature to... Minus 11. Vibrance to minus 50. and saturation to about minus 7. Now I can adjust the hue, saturation and luminance of these colors individually. Um, so that's great. Uh, depending on your image, uh, for me, I'm going to um, adjust my yellow. I'm going to bring down my um, hue to about minus 47. Saturation about minus 25. Uh, and I'm going to probably change, uh, adjust my cyan and can bring this up a little bring down my saturation and bring down my luminance I'm just going to bring down the blue now you realize when you're working with the slider here um, if you would like to revert this uh, if I bring this down and if I would like to bring this back to zero um, I can undo at the top there or I can just double click on the uh, tap and then it brings back to zero so I'm just going to bring down the, my hue for blue saturation I'm going to bring up maybe slightly the minute slightly yeah so about there okay so I'm done here I'm going to um, click on the icon here on the top right hand corner I'm going to copy my settings I'm going to copy whatever that I've done to my image earlier now i only adjusted the light and color so which means i do not need the effects detail optics and uh, geometry i will only be selecting six of all the seven um, settings under light uh, make sure my color is selected and my profile color is selected as well and i'm gonna click on the tick icon there and i'm gonna go back to my base color LUT image and i'm gonna click on the uh, icon top right, top right hand corner and i'm going to now paste the settings to my base color light so what happens is that the settings that i've um, adjusted previously is now being copied to my base color light and what i can do here is to just export this and bring over to spark ar now um, to export this i'll just click on the export button i'm going to click on export as so i'm going to choose the file type as jpeg Make sure it's the largest available dimension i can go and hit and go and 90 percent or um, bring it to the highest And I'm going to click OK. Okay. And now I'm going to export it to my 
laptop. I'm gonna airdrop it to my laptop and I'm gonna bring it over to my Spark AR. Now what I'm gonna do next is before I import the color LUT to my Spark AR, I have to convert to PNG. Um, so I can, I can just do that um, by converting online. I'm gonna use the first um, option here. And I click download. And there you go, I have my own color light that I can use for my filter. So here we are back. Uh, to Spark AR Studio, uh, we're going to click our new project and I'm going to bring in my color LUT. All right, now uh, I'm using the um, Spark AR Studio 115 version. If you're using the older version, do upgrade because um, using color LUT on the newer version is so much easier. I'm just going to click on Add Asset, Import, Color LUT. Now, this option is not available in the previous versions. I'm going to click on my click on that. Once what I'm going to do now here, I'm just going to uh, right click on my mood LUT uh, under actions. I'm just going to click to apply to camera. Now again, the newer version, what it does is just basically once I've done that, it will actually open up my patch editor. And as you can see here, um, I already have all the patches here. They are, requ they are required for the filter. Now, um, this makes it very easy, right? Um, compared to the previous version where you will have to create a canvas, create a rectangle and then add link it to your color filter. But for the newer version, all you need to do is to just right click, select action and then um, connect it to the camera. And there you go, you have the option here. And you have the patches here. And um, if you do not want to use your own color filter, what you can do is you can go to AR library on the left side panel here, um, go to color LUT and uh, as you can see there are 33 assets here, right? Uh, if you do not want to create your own color LUT. So from here you can be creative with your filter, whether you want to add a 2D text, you want to create a face mask. So there you go, this is how you create your color LUT from scratch using Lightroom for your Instagram filter. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload video tutorials every single week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.